Hi Libra, Libra Rising. This is your Love Focus reading for March 2015. Uh, be sure to check your uh, Sun sign uh, ascending and your Moon sign uh, just to get closer clarification and also to just to clarify. Um, the reason I say that is because these cards are exactly the cards that I got for Virgo except slightly different order okay now this month I have chosen one card for each week and I'm hoping that that will give you a direct line of focus for each week giving you a better reading at the uh, end of the reading I will choose a um, angel card to tell you what to do or what not to do and to give you extra clarification so the first week in March Libra You'll be wanting to take a, a, a time out. You'll be wanting to take a break. You'll want to inner reflect. You'll want to have some alone time so that you can inner reflect and decide what it is that you want to do. If you're single, you've just had enough of dating and you just want to take a break. If you're in a relationship, something's happened to make you feel off or make you reassess, make you um, look at things differently. And so you want to take time out to reassess that. In the second week of March, Libra, we have the Three of Wands. And this is you throwing a little bit of a pity party. The second week, you're just going on. You're a martyr. You're licking your wounds. You're really, really dog with a bone. Okay, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to feel like you've been wounded, but you don't need to let it last and last and last and last. All you're going to do is show your potential partner or your partner a side of you that they don't want to see and um, and you might ruin things permanently. So absolutely, if someone's harmed you or upset you in a way, you're absolutely allowed to be upset about that, but don't take it to the extremes. In the third week, we have the Page of Wands. So singles, you'll have at least two or three um, interest in you. You'll have a feather in your cups. So you'll be feeling extra attractive. You'll be out and about trying different cultures, trying different things. You may even date someone that's um, outside the square of what you normally date. You might be dating someone foreign. You might be talking to someone at a distance, uh, internet dating, all of those things. If you're in a relationship, this week is all about spicing up your relationship. Maybe things have been a little bit dull. Maybe things have been a little bit quiet. You've been overworking, have been, you know, passing each other and not really spending quality time. This week is about getting in, getting your date night and making it grand, spicing Icing it up and putting the love back in. In the fourth week of March, we feel like we're unsupported. You feel cut. You feel cut to the quick. It's a deep cut. It could be words. It could be emotionally. Maybe you don't feel supported. Maybe you have been flummoxed because you were expecting things to go a different rate and they didn't and you weren't feeling supported. Maybe you've got back problems and you're not feeling supported by your partner. Maybe you've been stabbed in the back. Maybe you've been cheated on, but this is the uh, whole tone of the week uh, for the last week of March. So let's ask the angels and find out what to do and what not to do. I want three cards. All right, so not settling. Do not settle for second best. If you've been cheated on, dump that loser and get next. You'll find a hero who's just around the corner. Leading you towards the answer of your prayers. So whatever it is that you're hoping for, it will happen. And releasing anger. Healing. This is Archangel Uriel. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. This wrecks of this pity party and martyr over here. So this month is all about, you know, speaking up. Talking about how you're feeling, getting that support and love from your partner, spicing it up, not letting things rest on their laurels. Being brave, getting up, getting out there and not being a pity party. It's okay to, you know, get up and move on. So I'll see you in April.